The first AI tool you need to know about that will turn you into a superhuman is SciSpace. But I've talked about this heaps before, but now look at this. Down here, when you log into SciSpace, you've got Citation Booster. Citation Booster apparently increases your citation count by 20%. Anyone would want 20% increase in citations. So what happens is you create an AI avatar, AI avatar with your own voice and style. And you can also select from a diverse number of voices, streamline your content creation. So this is about publicizing the work that you want to get in front of people. I really, really like it. It's actually something that I think is completely underrated in the academic world, which is the post publication promotion. Ooh, the P P. P, haha, <laughs> copyright. Okay, now let's go here. Okay, so it says upload full text. So if I go and find a full text, let's have a look at this one. No, uh, yeah, no, this one. I want this one. Okay, I'll open it up and you can see that it uploads the text and then you'll be amazed at the ability of the AI to turn it into two types of content. We'll look at that in a moment. Kindly wait while we process your PDF. Oh my God, that was quick. I was gonna do something. Um, so now we've got this untitled paper. Um, it's extracted the figures. It's now got research assets. It's generating two types of assets that you can use to promote your paper. You've also got research analytics, i.e. the people that this uh, brings in to your paper for reading and then you've also got all of these um, analytics down here and then obviously you got the PDF as well and you can see if people have taken any notes on it and that sort of stuff but this is what is really interesting to me let's have a look at research assets we'll click view and then you end up with this video you can then edit the video which we'll do now and let's check out to see what it's done so you can see for each page it's generated this little narration so you can narrate the scene and uh, you've got uh, five scenes down here this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one and this is the fifth one so it's highly revolving around the figures but you also get this narration which goes alongside it so let's have a little bit of a listen at this narration it's not working why is it not working mate it was working before <laughs> so it's apparently meant to <laughs> to have a narration. Okay, let's try again. Let's go down to this one and just click. I turned off. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do this. I turned off the uh, the volume on that tab. Okay, we can do better than that. All right. Let's go to the second tab and try that. The graph showcases the resistance ratio versus the number of bend cycles for two different measurement techniques. There we are. So it's a little bit slow. It's a little bit boring if you ask me. So I think you could go here and record with your own avatar. So you click here and uh, you can then say, yes, I'll be fine with me publishing my voice. Then you can narrate the paper in your voice. So you can skyrocket your paper citation count. You can track analytics, all of this sort of stuff. So we can't find your profile. Create profile. Can't find me. There we are. That's better. Andy Stapleton. That was a little bit annoying, wasn't it? Going through all those other Andy Stapletons that aren't nearly as important as me. Um, and then you can generate and publish a video. So there we are, we go in, add a clone, continue with sample voice. Um, and I do recommend you try to persevere through and creating your unique voice and video clone if you feel comfortable with that, because I think it will make the video much better. Another thing that you need to know about, about this tool is this. So what it creates for you is a presentation that allows you to easily kind of like start to think about your uh, results. Now, look, it's got this sort of stuff, table of contents over two pages, so some of the formatting is a bit weird. I think it gives you pretty good talking notes for a presentation because not only does it give you the structure, it gives you the bullet points, and all you have to go in now is you could take these, put them into like a PowerPoint presentation, and then uh, put in some figures, some diagrams, put big arrows, put big squares around the things you want to talk about. And look, it's even put in the diagrams and the figures that you need to talk about, which is actually pretty good. It shows the right things. It's got this, it's got the conclusions. So overall, I think it's done a really great time. It's even got what I call the clapping uh, slide right at the end where it's like, thank you for your time and attention. Cue the clap. 
The next tool you need to know about is Julius AI. Now I've talked about this so many times and I absolutely love it. Julius AI is that little data science in your pocket that's like, hey, I'll help out, don't worry. But it's got even more powerful because in the past, it used to have this, Python. It only had Python runtimes, which means all of the code was generated with Python um, output, which means you'd have to use a Python environment um, to sort of like, you know, copy and paste this code across. But now you can use this, go up here, you can use R. So by using R, you can now get access to really powerful data analytics and visualization right in this AI tool. And I think this will open up a world of awesomeness for a range of different people. So let's have a look and add some files and uh, yeah, see what happens. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to upload and uh, you'll see that it's able to generate not only the results in the AI tool, but it gives you the R code that you can use in um, the R sort of like software uh, software programs. So here it's got the prompt as well as the um, data already in there. And this is the show code bit. So you can see it's gone off and it says load the data and display the first few rows and understand its structure. So this is the R code, you can see this here. I think this is a real superpower for people like me who aren't really analytics or sort of mathematically or R driven. But this is now something that is just so very, very powerful. You can take this data, you can print it and take it across to whatever program you're using um, to, to sort of like show this uh, um, uh, programming language. And uh, you can see that I know nothing about it because I never did it. But the fact that it's got R is now, I think, a real, real superpower because you've got the power of R and Python in one single AI tool for data analytics. Go check it out for your data. And I think you'll be amazed at the sort of insights you're able to generate with this tool. Go check it out. One of the things I found really challenging during my PhD and my research time was having to go out to the literature all the time to find new papers to read, to get inspiration from new papers, and it wasn't something I particularly enjoyed. I'd much rather sign up to something like Google Alerts, but there's a new AI tool that can do a little bit of that work for you, and I think it's a new superpower, and that is GoatStack AI. GoatStack is an AI tool that goes out, looks for papers, and sends it to your email inbox. That I love. So here when you sign in and you first get started it says what topics are you interested in so I'll go in and you can choose from these down here but ultimately I'm only really interested in OPV devices and uh, here we can say add so you don't have to select just from those I want transparent electrodes transparent electrodes here we are we'll get no we don't want <laughs> there we are and then we'll click next so then it asks how frequently do you want this you can say daily monday wednesday friday weekly uh weekly is probably good enough for me and i'm gonna call it andy's digest and then what will happen this will get sent to my email inbox so you get this dashboard and you can see that I've got this weekly Andy's Digest. It's looking for these sort of things. You can also say send now. We'll only send it to your email address. Let's click send now. AI agent is still preparing my requested newsletter. Try again in 60 seconds. I will you bloody awesome thing. So then we've got keywords to include. So if you find this including things that you don't really like, you can make sure that it filters those out. You've also got custom instructions if you sign up, but also this digest does have a public profile. So if you know it's a popular um, topic, you can actually reach out to other people in your field and say, hey, I've already generated this. And if you wanted to, you could even turn it into a monthly recurring revenue service for you. You could monetize your newsletter um, if it's a really popular newsletter newsletter and you've gone to all the effort of you know making sure that it's super powerful with keywords to exclude and all that sort of stuff so it could be a little side hustle for you I don't know but it is an option if nothing else and what you'll end up with is an AI sort of generated um, newsletter that looks like this so you can see that here I've got power conversion efficiency and OPV devices it's got the nice uh, graphical abstract there and it's also got key points which is a really great tool so even in your email you can see these key points so here is a list and then you've got a little kind of generated, uh, AI generated description and outcome of the main points of that. So that's the first one and you can see it goes on, it gives you a few more. So this is detecting triplet states in optoelectronic and photovoltaic materials and devices. So that's great. We've got effects of whole transport layers. So those are the sorts of emails you can expect to receive in your email inbox and go check it out for goatstack.ai. It's completely free for I think only one newsletter, but that's all you need for your research. Go check it out. It may be the easiest way to just suck in all of those important papers into your face.